And thank you. Welcome in to Lester Bond Field as we get set for tonight's broadcast. The Hawks coming in with solid yellow. Uh, <laughs> not my favorite uh, combination of colors, but it'll do. And uh, with uh, blue numbers, blue helmets, and uh, we haven't seen that, I don't think, in a while. Uh, Hawks with the solid yellow. Looks like uh, some, uh, looks more like a bunch of yellow jackets out there. Bob Haynes, come on, sit down here and have a cup of coffee. I got one, Stuart yeah. Burnett. All right. What are you up to tonight? I'm up to absolutely nothing. Nothing. I'm here uh, waiting for a football game to start. Okay. Well, uh, looks like uh, we'll have one starting here in about 30 minutes. So uh, the Hawks are uh, hosting the uh, Virginia High uh, Bearcats. And, uh, of course, they're from way out on the other side of the state. <laughs> uh, pretty good ways out there in the uh, Bristol area. And uh, they come in at 5-5. Five and five And uh, they're dressed with uh, black black pants kind of remind me of the Alta Vista a little bit on their color combination they sure do except yeah. for they got like the Wolverine yeah. style uh, uh, helmet helmet like that like Michigan has except this uh, orange and black uh, for them so they got the blue pants white jerseys and uh, and the black numerals and uh, I, I think I said blue pants black pants and uh, they're out warming up and the Hawks just getting onto the field going through their exercises uh, and uh, as we come in tonight, Bob, uh, just have a seat right there. <laughs> Eric's going to be here in a minute. He got delayed, but uh, so uh, Bob, that hot chocolate smells good. They got hot chocolate, pizza, and all kinds of things there in the press box. And well, you know, Stuart, uh, <clears throat> I just came here tonight because I felt like it was a little bit warmer here yeah. than it is out on this football stand. Well, but anyway, uh, of course, this is a big ball game for the Grand Grand Hawks. And, yeah, you when know, you get into the playoffs, uh, is, it's uh, one and done. You got to win or you go home. So uh, last year, the, the Hawks went on the road to Grayson County, and it was one and done because uh, uh, Grayson County won that game, and the Hawks went home early. And uh, it's been a long time since the Hawks made an early exit in the playoffs, but uh, uh, that happened last year, and they don't want to have a repeat of that this no, year. No, we sure didn't. No, I, I like it. We, you know. Uh, no, this thing is going to be interesting oh, as the as as week goes on, Stuart, because if Gretna happens to win this football game tonight, the question is, you know, who we're going to play. Next week, it's going to be the seventh, eighth, or sixth, you know, ever who's... I understand it's the winner of Richlands and Graham. Richlands and Graham, okay. Okay, winner of that, and, uh, and if we win tonight, we would host that. Uh, according to my chief, uh, right? Yeah, that's chief, right. Uh, statistician yeah. over here to my we'll, right. We'll be back here next Friday, and night. that'd be great. Yeah, and but after uh, that, now do it. Yeah, after that, it's, it's, uh, it's it'll be on the road again. On the road again. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's good to have a you know, potentially a couple of games here at home. Uh, you got to like the Hawks' chances in those games. Now the Bearcats come in at five and five, and sort of a you know uh, half and half sort of season. But uh, we shouldn't be uh, overconfident because of that. Uh, now they scored almost as many points as the Hawks did during the year, uh, but defensively gave up about a hundred more points. So uh, I wonder I wonder a little bit about how strong their defense is, but you've got to think their offense is going to be pretty pretty good. Well, you know, uh, still right now, I think the question right now is, of course, the Hawks, we, we, we come out of Blacksburg not looking good. We no. came out of Dan River. You know, we wasn't too satisfied with that football game. Now, the question is today, of course, we went into uh, Nelson County. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can really prove anything much by, yeah. you know, and pull Nelson about not being critical in any way yeah. because, you know, they hadn't won a football game all year. Right. But tonight is going to be the contest right yeah. here. How well are the Hawks coming in mentally, mm -hmm. physically? How are you? Yeah. I mean, mentally, more or less. And what's the health of uh, Von Bennett, for instance? Uh, will he be able to play much tonight? Uh, and if, if he's able to? Will it be effective? And uh, so those are some of the questions we'll have to answer. What we're going to do right now is take a break. We'll come back and we'll slide in our color man, Eric Hall, who has arrived on the scene, and we'll get his thoughts about the game. Bob, good to have your thoughts. And uh, you stay on up here and stay warm if you, if you want to. I'll give you permission to do that. All right. We are heading on up towards uh, kickoff time. And again, uh, tonight it's the uh, Virginia High uh, Bearcats against the Gretna Hawks here at Lester Bond Field. And we'll take a break. Here's some uh, words from some of our sponsors. We'll be back with uh, more Hawk Talk right here. You're listening to Gretna Hawks Football. All right. I was beginning to think we were going to be on uh, radio tonight. Really? Because I was coming in and I hey. was listening to it and I didn't hear anything about it. Hey. 
No, it was that was not it was not Eric. No. He's here he's here now though. That'll be great. That's, yeah, that'll work. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Uh, not right now. Um, I'm short on sponsors, but that, that just means they'll get a lot of spots, and uh, we'll try to have more for next week. Uh, just had uh, uh, having a tough time right now, <laughs> folks. I guess it's the economy. I don't know. You know. Uh, well, some some let me know in advance. You know that they won't go continue on, and then uh, some I just never could. I never could get in touch with them. Uh, usually they respond back a couple of them, and then I had one that kind of pulled out on me late today. I thought I had, and uh, it told me last week they were going to do it, but they decided this week they weren't. So anyway, it's, that's just the way it goes. And. Uh, but uh, hopefully another week I'll get I'll get a chance to get some more in, and we'll be we'll be standing better. But anyway, that's just the way it goes. I did all I could. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Bye. How do you do your sponsors? Hmm? I do your sponsors. Do you just like promise them like a spell uh, a week, or do you do a month? Uh, we. We start out with a year package of ten games, and uh, how much we, you charge that one? It's uh, seventy-five a game. Oh, okay. Then uh, we you continue. Make, I didn't make a Do I? You need to make a Facebook page. I got too much to do. <laughs> Welcome back here to Lester Bond Field, and uh, Eric. The traffic was so bad tonight. We didn't think you were going to make it in, but it's good to have you here. <laughs> no, the traffic wasn't that bad. It's just <laughs> getting done pretty late with everything I had to get done but you know it's glad to glad to be back here at Lester Bond Field. It feels like we haven't been here well I haven't been here in a couple of yeah, weeks. That's right. Uh, About four you, or five weeks. Well you missed a real good game a couple of weeks ago Dan River. Whew. They came in and just lit, lit the Hawks up and uh, you know it, it was that was a tough game for, for Gretna but then they were able to bounce back against Nelson County last week but uh, uh, boy we're going to be really keeping up with Dan River in the playoffs and see how See how they'll do tonight. And of course, we'll keep up with Alta Vista, Appomattox, uh, our Dogwood District teams uh, that are, that are in. And of course, I, one of the robberies I think is of the season had to be Chatham not making it in. Yeah, that definitely was you know one of the ones that I was looking forward to seeing getting into the uh, uh, into the playoffs because you know they had such a great team, beat so many good teams this year, and you know really gave Gretna all they could handle here. But, you know, this Virginia High School team, they look like a pretty good team. Yeah. They, they're coming in one and two of their last couple games and even defeated the team that uh, Appomattox is playing in like Marion High School. So, you know, they're a pretty good team. And they beat, they defeated Lee County last week, 34 to 27. So they're pretty battle-tested. Yeah, um, I think a concern for them probably is their defense. They've, they've given up considerably more points. I was looking at some of the stats that I had been able to uh, – to uh, gather and uh, <laughs> if I can find them. Uh, the Hawks scored 319 points this year and gave up 181. Virginia High 295 gave up 280. Uh, so uh, uh, the defense uh, probably is a question mark for Virginia High and we'll see if the Hawks are able to uh, exploit that with their offense. That, that is kind of changing uh, before our eyes. They were in the uh, double wing last week and I think they're going to continue that this week. Of course, they could always go back to the spread or run the eye. Uh, they got three different formations they can run out of, but they were pretty successful against Nelson County with the wing formation. Uh, the question is, uh, was that a good test? Because uh, Nelson County, you know, didn't win a game this year. Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up. I was like, you know, what offense are we going to see tonight? Are yeah. we going to see the, the spread offense that we saw at the beginning of the year, or are we going to see the – power eye formation that we saw you know debut against Alta Vista or are we going to see that wing tee that we saw Nelson and uh, you know with any one of those three offenses Gretna has really succeeded this year uh, I really do think that they're probably going to stick with the wing tee yeah. tonight yeah that's what I'm looking for and you know just see how they can get through the game because I really don't see, you know, much of a threat from Virginia I mean they, they've beaten some pretty quality teams to get in here but I believe if we, you know, idolize our 
weapons that we have with Rosser and Chris Hall and Bennett, I think we're going to do fine. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how effective Bennett will be. It's good to see him back in uniform. He got hurt against Appomattox with a high ankle sprain, and uh, this will be his first action tonight. So he is suited up, and uh, don't see him really limping a whole lot, but uh, I'm sure that ankle is heavily taped. And, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm not sure he'll see action on both sides of the ball or whether they'll just use him as a receiver, uh, what they're planning. I, I really don't look for him to use him to his full ca uh, capacity tonight because uh, <laughs> if you do make it out of this game, you want to have him available next week. Yeah, and you really don't want to have a chance to re-injure a high ankle sprain because, you know, those are the most aggravating injuries and yeah. they just seem to lag on. But, you know, it's good to see him back out here in uniform here tonight. Yeah, and I'm sure the, uh, his, his uh, teammates are glad to see him as well because he's one of the senior leaders on this team. And uh, to have him back uh, here tonight, I see him just taking a pass. And I'm not sure how how well he'll be able to cut on that. Uh, he looks a little bit like he's maybe a little bit fat. He's not limping, but I just wonder, we I mean, have to make a cut if it's going to hold up on, for him. Yeah, that's the only thing you really worry about as a receiver is your cuts because if you can't cut as a receiver, you're not going to be that yep. effective. But, you know, hopefully because, you know, Grenner's really missed him the past couple of weeks. Uh, when he got injured against Appomattox is when Appomattox really started to make their comeback. Yeah. And, you know, against Dan River, I believe that they would have had uh, Bennett. It would have been a lot closer game than what it was. Yeah. And so we'll see how uh, how Bennett does tonight. But it's, it is good to have him back in the line. The Hawks, I believe, are probably as healthy as they've been in about four weeks. So, uh they really got nicked up against Dan River, and uh, and uh, I think all of them have uh, come back against Nelson County uh, last week. And then you add uh, Von Bennett back in, so it looks like we're up to uh, pretty much full capacity as we get set to uh, uh, see what Virginia High has to offer. Uh, as far as Virginia High, I may some of you may remember that uh, Chris Thurman went there for a couple of years. Uh, I, he left Gretna and went there and uh, was there a couple of years. He's no longer there, but uh, uh, maybe thinking I've heard that name before. They're from the Bristol area and uh, and uh, uh, maybe actually in Bristol, <laughs> but uh, I say Bristol area, but that, that's the part of Virginia we're speaking of. And uh, I understand too from talking with the radio crew that's here from, uh, uh, from their area that uh, their second string quarterback perhaps will be seeing play in action tonight because the uh, first string quarterback was injured a couple of weeks ago and it just so happens that uh, you know since he's been playing they've won a couple of games so uh, a lot of times you like to stick with the hot hand when you get a little streak going so um, so uh, we'll see how uh, Virginia High fares here tonight and uh, of course the Hawks uh, with so much uh, uh, history on their side uh, in the last uh, decade or so you certainly would expect they're the favorites tonight they're higher rated uh, but again, it's uh, one of those deals where you know you got to play the game to find out. Uh, we don't we don't know a whole lot about each other. Yeah, and you know what I'm seeing here from Virginia High warming up it looks like they're going to be using a lot of eye formation. Uh, you know, not really seeing the quarterback throw much, so you not really you don't really know what to expect from this team because we really don't have much on them except for the fact that they've won the past two games and they're using the backup quarterback. And I understand that. I think they got some pretty good speed in the backfield, too. So, uh, you know, we'll see uh, how the Gretna defense handles that. They, they did score uh, right many points this year. They scored uh, almost 300 points. I think Gretna scored a little over 300. And, again, as I said earlier, the defense did give up about 100 points more than Gretna did. So I'll be interesting to, interested to see how their defense holds up against the Hawks tonight. Yeah. For Virginia High, they've beaten some pretty quality opponents. You know, Marion High School is playing Appomattox tonight in their NC, so you know they have a pretty good yeah. record. They're six and four this year, well, and Virginia High is five year. and five. So you know, you just want to think, you know, that the Gretna defense, you know, might have their hands full tonight again because you know it does look like they're a pretty explosive <laughs> offense, and you know they're wearing the orange and black here tonight. <laughs> yeah, so, it kind of looked like a Colonel's. <laughs> <laughs> They're wearing the orange and black here tonight, so hopefully we don't have as good of a game that we did we did yeah. then, and it comes wow. down to a missed field goal yeah. at the end. But yeah. I really do think that the you know the Gretna defense.
defense is going to be the tail of the tape here tonight. And, you know, just if Virginia High's defense can, you know, overmatch Gretna's offense, which has been overmatched the past couple of weeks, you know, except for the uh, Nelson County game last week. But. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, whether we're going to try to throw it a lot tonight or whether we'll go into that uh, the wing offense. I really like the wing. I think they run it pretty well last week. Again, the question is, uh, against a good quality team uh, like we're playing tonight, will they will they be able to hold those blocks long enough to get all those fakes in before the uh, defense gets on them? Uh, because if you're not able to do that, then you're going to probably see a lot of turnovers. Yeah, and also if you see that, they're going to definitely switch up the uh, play calling. And I really do think that they're going to stick with the uh, wing team, like you said. But, you know, you're probably going to see a bunch of different formations to try to keep this Virginia High School defense on its heels. All right, so we know the Hawks can run several. And, uh, again, uh, it'll be interesting to see what they go with. I think most likely whatever they're successful with will be what they try. So we are coming on up towards uh, kickoff time. And... Uh, We'll take another break here. Here's some words from some of our sponsors. We are about 14 minutes away from kickoff time. So we'll take this break. Again, tonight it's uh, the Gretna Hawks hosting the Virginia High Bearcats right here at Lester Bond Field. We'll bring you all the action. Kickoff set for 7 p.m. So you be sure to stay right there. Let's hear a word now from some of our sponsors. You're listening to Gretna Hawks football. Tradition of state championships here in Gretna Hawks. Seven and three on the season, as we mentioned earlier, number four seed in the playoffs, taking on the Bearcats of uh, Coach Michael Chris. And Bearcats winning their last two games impressively over Barrington and then uh, holding on to the victory over Lehigh last Friday night to make the record of five and five and splitting into the playoffs as a hey, season. You need that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to need mine tomorrow. I'm going up to Blacksburg. It ain't that big Yeah. You definitely will. So, with guys are in there, a little bit different for a football team. He didn't say anything about him in the paper either. You got Bob in you, now you can't get rid of him. To show where for the passing game, uh, completed last year, they had a good team for 197 yards. Um, that's a pretty good uh, record for a substitute quarterback for the Virginia Valley Gas Tax. Yeah, they've done a good job uh, with passing game. Uh, pretty much all season long, but it seems like the last couple of days, more of the receivers have gotten into the action. It seems like all the miles. Man, uh, forgot to need to move this, Eric. Right here. Try to fold it in half. That's true, Nick. Uh, Heiser doesn't have a favorite receiver here. Nobody that he really looks for. He's a first one over there. And he's found uh, Austin Miles and Chandler Davis, Gary Lee, uh, Justin Brown, and Ty the Grill for uh, completion. So he spent the foot all around. There's no one receiver. Um, running back wise, you know, those are the big Justin Brown is pretty much the, uh, the guy that carries the football. And welcome back to Lester Bond Field as we head on up towards kickoff time. Uh, some of the other games in the area that we want to be aware of, a lot of folks from the area made the playoffs, including uh, Tunstall, of course, in Pennsylvania County. They are in the 3A uh, uh, round and uh, the Region 3A. And they're going to be playing number one Heritage tonight. Heritage went undefeated this year. One of their harder tests was right here against Gretna early on in the season. And Gretna led that game for a good part of it before Heritage was able to, to pull away at the end. Um, so Tunstall's going to have their hands full there with, with Heritage. And uh, a team also that we saw this year, Brookville, uh, first game of the season, uh, the Hawks were able to beat Brookville there at number three Northside. That's going to be a tough task for the Bees, who have been improving along the way. They actually ended up making it to five and five after a rocky start. Uh, Rustburg at Monticello is another game that uh, is uh, one that's uh, on our on our uh, radar. Uh, Alta Vista, of course. Uh, uh, number two seed against uh, Northumberland. Uh, that's another game we'll be trying to keep up with. 
Uh, William Campbell made the playoffs with one win, uh, and they are at uh, Franklin down on the East Coast, and uh, they're going to have their hands full tonight, too. That could get ugly down there because uh, Franklin has got a real good team. Uh, and so uh, we, uh, we've already talked about Gretna and uh, Virginia High School. Another one we mentioned a little bit, Appomattox at Marion. That's a 9-8 matchup. Those 9-8 matchups, you really... They're probably pretty even teams. Yeah, it's just like the NCAA yeah, tournament. Yeah. You know, it's a flip of a coin who you're going to pick from that game. But, you know, for Marion, you know, coming off a win last week against Abington High School, 52-14, to you know, they've got some firepower on offense. So, will the Appomattox defense be able to stop them? I mean, Appomattox, they, they beat up Chatham last week at Chatham, 34-13. to So, you know, what is the Appomattox team that showed up in the second half? Half against Gretna, they're going to play, or you know, the team that lost pretty bad to Dan River going to show up. So yeah. it's just a tale of the tape how you're going to play and how you see the game's going. It's good to see so many Dogwood District teams uh, in the playoffs. We would have liked to have seen Chatham in there. Chatham had a had a winning record and uh, you know uh, didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, and you know I really do feel for the Cavaliers. You know they had a great team. A great quarterback, a good running back, also, and you know they had a, a great team this year. And just coming up, just just short of missing out on the playoffs, I really feel for them. And you know they're going to be back next year. They got a good team coming back, also. Yeah, the uh, the Cavaliers uh, again. Uh, the only argument I could say is uh, for them, and maybe they saw that this year is a uh, tougher tougher schedule. Uh, you know, that's how the Hawks were able to really, uh, you know, with, with three losses to still end up being uh, number four seed. That's because they had a real strong schedule. So what we're going to do now, I think, is we're going to get set for the national anthem, and we won't be able to bring you that. So we'll take a break right now and come back with uh, more. You are listening to Gretna Hawks football. to do that more often. to come on to the field. The uh, band is out. Uh, the cheerleaders are out. The sign is getting ready to be picked up. We'll hopefully get to read that before they run through it. And uh, Bearcats have their sign and they'll be getting onto the field here in just a moment first. Looks like the Hawks are going to come on to the field here first. All right. Get the music. We're getting them pumped up. <laughs> We're starting to move around a little bit. Oh, the music stopped. 
Uh, all right. No, no, uh -oh. we're having issues with our music. They won't be able to come onto the field without it, so uh, we got to get our sound man going over there. Don't move. Nobody moves. There it goes again. All right. Oh, oh. They're just going to walk out now. Okay. Do you see a press box? All right, here come the hogs slowly. <laughs> Just walking up there. Keep walking, I'll take you to Looks like Von Bennett, and that's Zach Edwards. And here come the hogs running through the banner. And they're through. All right. Hawks in solid yellow tonight. What do you think of that, Eric? Looks like a bunch of mustard out on the field. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't think of that. I was thinking more of yellow jackets. Uh, but, uh, hey, a jar of mustard, okay? Uh, solid yellow with blue numbers and uh, blue helmet with the gold uh, wings on the side. And we're hoping they're going to be able to take flight here in just a few minutes as we get set for tonight's action again it's the virginia high bearcats from bristol they are uh, coached by michael christ and uh, they're getting set to come onto the field they've got uh, uh, some students i believe there along the side maybe they're maybe some cheerleaders uh, and maybe some that are not officials for tonight and they got a pretty good crowd up on the side here come the bearcats Umpire mike smith linesman justin Burton, over to their side line judge michelle walker side and judge we're just Bobby about set Eggleson. for the captains to come out and we'll Field have the coin judge, toss Sonny and we'll Daniels, get this game underway judge, first Pat, round of the playoffs and uh, Bearcats now over to the sideline, as was mentioned earlier, sort of, uh, if you have seen the Alta Vista uh, uniform, very similar. The only difference being instead of having the A on the helmet, they've got that Wolverine style helmet, except uh, the color are, are black and orange. Uh, and uh, but other, than, other than that, pretty much <laughs> like Alta Vista. And, as you said, Michigan has the maze in blue. <laughs> Just imagine that, <laughs> except in black and orange. There's a little good on there on the sideline, but yeah. you know, uh, well, that's just orange and black. Two, anyway, but, you know, Daniels, I really do hope Virginia High School number one, you know, comes out Chandler to play tonight, Davis, gives yeah. Gretna a good game. But number you know, 20, just with everything Justin that's been Brown. happening for this season for Gretna, I really do think that they're going to so really so push this game and they're going to, you know, win big here tonight. All right, uh, one, Jordan you're Lambert. more confident than I am. I'm, I'm thinking it might be a little closer than we expect, but uh, you know. Uh, We'll see. The coin toss has been made, and uh, I think Gretna may have won that, and they're going to defer to the second half. The Hawks won the toss, will defer to the so second half. So the Hawks half. will kick off. The only question is, will they defend the north or the south end zone? And it looks like they're going to defend the south end zone, and we'll be set to go here with live action here in just a moment. Again, it's uh, the Gretna Hawks uh, ranked number four. Uh, in the uh, 2A in the West and uh, 2A West and uh, Virginia High ranked number 13 and uh, we're just about set now it's a pretty good night for football about 50 in the low 50s right now I don't think it's gonna get a whole lot colder uh, tonight maybe dip down into the upper 40s before we're through but uh, it's a real good night for football uh, not much breeze at all to speak of and uh, Again, uh, just, just perfect football weather as we get set here for playoff action. All right, the Bearcats take the field. Back deep is number 20. That's Justin Brown. Up higher, number five, is uh, Derek Lee, number one, Chandler Davis. Uh, and kicking off for the Hawks will be Canary. And he tees it up at the 40. And we're set to go. All right, Brown sets up around the 12 yard line to take this kick. And we're set. And the kick's gonna be deep. And off to the side, nice kick. Stops right at the six yard line, finally picked up by Brown. He breaks the tackle, comes up the oh, sideline. He's, he's got, got room to go. He's, he's got, got only the, the kicker, kicker to beat. And uh, let's see if Canary can bring him down. 
He's to the, he falls down, he's going to score. That's going to be 94 yards. And the Hawks uh, lost containment on the outside edge, Eric, and uh, trying to make that quick tackle. They, they lost their discipline on their kick coverage, and he just took it right up the sideline. Yeah, I believe the Grenda players were looking to jump on that ball because the Virginia High School player, uh, number 20, I believe it was, Justin Brown. Justin Brown, that's right. Uh, I believe he was going to let the ball just go into the end zone, but he picks it up at the at the uh, six-yard line and returns it 94 yards for a touchdown. And wow. Somebody missed the arm tackle, and yep, that's they're the gonna, only person they're gonna, get, they're gonna get chewed out. Yep, the only one contained. that got a hand on him, he missed him, and uh, after that, uh, the Hawks had uh, all converged on the ball, and there was really nobody left. Easy score. Now for the extra point, here comes the kick, and it's good. Nice kick. And uh, extra point for the low power is good.